Okay, so in the video, uh, a couple of videos ago, we were looking at this rectangle. And I introduced the rectangle as potentially being able to define it using a matrix as its set of coordinates. So I could say that this is 0, 0, uh, 0, 2, uh, 1, 2, and 1, 0. Okay, and what I want to do is apply some mat uh, matrices to this um, to show you kind of what those matrices are going to do. Now, if I look at the matrix of 1, 0, 0, 1, you should remember this as being the identity matrix. So, the identity matrix just fixes points in position. Now, if you consider these as coordinates, so 1, 0, there, and 0, 1, there, okay, so 1, 0, 0, 1, reading downwards, then if I wanted to, for example, um, find the matrix that reflects in the x-axis, okay, so I want to use that as the reflection line, then what I need to consider is where I can move those points to. So this point would stay fixed, and this point would move down here. And so the 1, 0 would stay the same, while the 0, 1 would become 0, minus 1. So if I apply this matrix to this matrix, then I should find that the rectangle is reflected in the x-axis. So, let's see what happens. 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Apply to 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 2, 1, 0. So I have 1, 0 times 0, 0, so I just get 0. Uh, 0, 1, um, I'll do the top row first. 1, 0 times that, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, so 1, 1, 0 times that is 1, 0 minus 1, 0, 0 minus 1, so minus 2, 0 minus 1 there is minus 2, and 0 minus 1 there is 0. So I now get the coordinate 0, 0, I get 0 minus 2, so that's minus 2, I get 1 minus 2, and 1, 0. So you can see that the rectangle has been reflected in the x-axis. So that is what that matrix will do. Now if you wanted to reflect in the y-axis, then what we would find is that this point would remain fixed, but this point would flip over and get reflected. So actually, the 1, 0 would become minus 1, 0, and the 0, 1 would stay fixed. So this should be a reflection in the y-axis. Okay, so that is what is happening there. And you can apply that matrix to that matrix there, and you should find that you get a rectangle over here now. Okay, so that's what should happen. Now, last but not least, we have um, maybe a reflection in the line y equals x. Okay. Um, so if I do y equals x, then that is this line, okay, and using that as a mirror line, that would mean that the 1, 0 would, and the 0, 1 would switch places. So 1, 0 would become 0, 1, and 0, 1 would become 1, 0. And so this is the matrix I'm looking for. That's a reflection in the line 
y equals x. Okay, and you could have a go and see what happens. Of course, I did say that was last but not least, but then I was forgetting y equals minus x. Okay, so if I want to do y equals minus x, then that's like y equals minus x. I have my 1, 0, which would get reflected down here as uh, 0 minus 1. So 1, 0 becomes 0 minus 1. And 0, 1 would become minus 1, 0. And so that is the matrix that would be a reflection in the line y equals minus x. So you can use these little diagrams to help you a great deal to determine what a matrix is doing. We'll be using them throughout. Okay, So it's very good to get used to drawing a little diagram. It's very effective at determining what matrices do. So make sure you have a play around with it and get used to how these things work.